my 2020 GMC Duramax uh, diesel super cab and all that good stuff dualies anyway it's pulling this uh, I think 30 some foot shockwave fifth wheel already done my pre-trip ready to log in and get on the road here checked all the tires checked the unit itself got some minor you know scrapes and scratches from the previous transport uh, all the lights work as you can see the market lights I put my uh, transporter plates back here zip tied them I've inspected the doors I've inspected the uh, wheels on both sides the tires the interior we ended up uh, having an issue with the lock but uh, we got the key figured out uh, the gas line is turned off and here's how the truck is connected to it and doing very well this thing is not gonna we're not gonna feel it back behind us uh, my 25k per uh, fifth wheel hitch is going to do just fine this i think it's only about 17 or 12,000 pounds somewhere around there anyway i've got an adapter for a gooseneck in case i need that over there um, you know of course we can pull by ball on the bottom there with the two and five sixteenths ball and the two inch and anyway all that set up and should be there in four and a half hours at my destination this would be going to a dealership in Washington. It's kind of like the one that I have, only smaller, and uh, you know, made by Forest River, which is not an advanced uh, manufacturer, but it's a decent manufacturer. I owned a Forest Ri River product, a, uh, a uh, Arctic Wolf 3770. We traded that in for a Heartland pro product, a, a toy hauler, a 43 footer. And now we own that 43 footer, but the uh, Forest River product wasn't as comfortable as the Heartland. It had some minor issues with it from the manufacturer that were replaced and fixed. This is a Forest River product and uh, it should do just fine on the road. Here I am at uh, Rodeo City RV. Anyway, uh, I'm about to pass the uh, the delivery back uh, to the dealership here at Rodeo City RV with the uh, delivery being done today and then going on to my next load. Hey guys, it's Chris again with my truck and here I am in uh, Legrand picking up that trailer right there and it's unit 25605 and this is a bumper pool as you can see these these are all brand new rvs uh being stocked and ready to go for customers this is a uh trail series mountain tracks uh, uh trailer it's uh, as you can see it's a brand new unit it's got a bumper pull hitch and a hydraulic or electric uh, uh hitch that lifts up I'm going to be pre-tripping this trailer. This is a 25 or 30 foot. I can't tell for sure exactly what size it is, but it is a toy hauler, as you can see back here. Uh, I just got here and located the trailer. And I'll pre-trip it and take a look, see, make sure it's roadworthy and connect to it and then head on out to make this delivery. Hey guys, once again, I'm here. Just pre-tripped completely this trailer with the truck. Uh, this is again the Outdoors RV Trail Series unit that uh, is a bumper pull. I added the battery, connected, used the hydraulic, hydraulic electric uh, hitch or, or, or uh, uh, what's it called? A hitch, I guess, you know, uh, lift hitch. Uh, and then made sure the trailer is clean and nice, no scratches, no dents, no peeling uh, gra gra graphics or marquees, any of that sort. Make sure the, the landing gear or the steps are in place and tied and closed. I made sure the door was sealed and unlocked and not tampered with, as well as the awning. There's nothing missing. It doesn't look like it's 
anything missing. Uh, it appears to be in, in pristine original condition. The latches, I made sure they're all uh, okay and working order. Torqued the wheels as well to make sure their uh, uh, pressure is proper. Uh, made sure that the uh, underneath is clear of any wires, debris, or additional supports. Uh, then, of course, make sure the marking and the lights and put my transporter plate on the back. And uh, obviously, sometimes, from my experience with my own personal RVs and stuff, you find that uh, some of the windows are not completely locked. And I made sure that all the windows are locked. And that the fuel tank in the back, the, the latches are closed, torqued these wheels, checked all the additional latches, climbed and looked on, on top to make sure that that's uh, free of debris or anything that might fall in transport. And of course, made sure that the there's no tampering with the generator and the generator is still present there. Uh, again, this is the uh, 2022 you see that RV this is a uh, 60 let's see the model is 29t as in Tom RX and it's meaning 29 is that it's approximately 29 feet long which makes it about 30 with the tongue I believe a little bit close to 30 feet it's a nice little unit I like the axles lower uh, rear almost with you know, the frame extending in the front, so it's not centered, but gives you more stability in the back and some more support if you're gonna put toys in the back. Uh, you know, I, I think I like it. It's got one AC on top, uh, sufficient enough, and then a, it's got a solar panel up on top as well, and then the WineGuard uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, satellite or, you know, electronic, dish that's up there on top as well it's, it's a pretty pretty nice unit um yeah. otherwise uh you know i'm ready to hit the road now and uh it's been pouring down here in the grand as you can see I'm wearing my reflective vest or jacket that is it's been uh utilized very well nice thanks for chris watching. again here we are with the trail series mountain trx model the 29 uh brought it over Drop, I'm dropping it right now. They're preach or inspecting it to make sure it's all good. Uh, truck didn't even feel it behind me. This is at a patch of camping center. Anyway, uh, you know, it was a nice ride. I'm going to be heading back to Portland now with a fifth wheel. Just want to give you guys some updates and uh, yeah, stay tuned.